welcome to the second season of Record of Change. I'm Pratap Naya, your host for this episode. Here at the podcast, we follow eight people from different parts of the world to understand how the COVID-19 pandemic is shaping their lives. Today, we're returning to Athens to check in on Alkes, the vegan chef at this organic restaurant called Winners. Even with restrictions in place, Winners has had a successful run in the past few months, according to Alkes. However, to combat the rising cases, Greece went into a second lockdown for three weeks in November. Alkis says he's better prepared this time around. He's spending the second lockdown revising his menu. Besides, there's also the new PS5 to be excited about. Over to our conversation. Thanks for doing this the second time. No worries. My pleasure. It seems like your prime minister just announced that you're going to go on a three-week lockdown. Yeah. Tell me about it. Yeah, we we were expecting it. Like uh, two weeks ago, the cases in Greece started to to rise. So normally we had like around uh, 100 cases, 80 cases, 100. So uh, like two weeks ago, we had like uh, 400. Then the next day was like 500, then 600, then 1,000, then 2,000. So yesterday we had like 3,000. So three, two weeks ago, when the case started to rise, most of the Athenians stopped, you know, going out. So they got a bit scared. But when the government, you know, started to talk about the lockdown and that the restaurants will close, everyone was, you know, panicked. So they, all of them, you know, they went out and all of the restaurants were super busy. So it was like, in contrast with last time, when they said that we're going to close, no one was going out. So this time when they said that, you know, they're going to close, everyone uh, went out. So that was funny. The thing now is that we were prepared. So like, I'm watching it like uh, very positive this time. (laughs) So it's more like uh, vacations. And uh, imagine like the, the uh, last day on the uh, restaurant, uh, all of our clients were saying uh, happy holidays and happy holidays, you know, for the new lockdown. So, so you're saying that this time, okay, obviously you're better prepared this time and uh, you're feeling positive about this lockdown for three weeks. Can you explain why? So now, yeah, we're prepared. We didn't have to throw any stock away uh, like last time. Um, we know what to expect. The government was uh, more prepared than last time. And they're going to give, like, actually much more money than last time. They are going uh, to pay the employees, like, at the 100% of the, basically not the 100%. Like, most of them, they get, like, uh, 700 euros per month. So the government is giving us 800 euros. So most of them will get, like, 100 more. <laughs> also, we will not have to pay all of the uh, taxes for our staff. We won't have to pay any loans that we have or, you know, any bills or anything. They are suspended uh, until uh, March. So, yeah, it's good. (laughs) Oh, that's good to know. So in the past three months, you took step-by-step measures. The restaurant was not completely open. There was also social distancing and everything. Tell me how the business went in the past three months. Like after August... Because of most of the Athenians were starting to come back from their holidays, from the islands and from their villages, the restaurant started to go uh, much better. So we had like more people coming. So yeah, it changed a lot because um, after the summer, everyone was like more relaxed. They didn't, you know, uh, think about the virus or the, uh, you know, and it was getting uh, busier, like week by week, it was getting like super busy. And that was good, better than expected. And uh, yeah, I think it will uh, continue going this way after the second lockdown. Yeah, people were completely shut down in the first uh, lockdown. And this time they wanted to just make use of whatever little time that was available before the lockdown came upon them. (laughs) Yeah, it was really busy. Also, uh, more tourists uh, started to come. Like we had more tourists uh, than the summer during September and October. We had many people from uh, from Germany. We had many people from England and uh, from Israel because now Israel is in a lockdown. They made like an agreement with our government so they can only travel to Greece. So uh, we have many, 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 many people from Israel. 
how were the tourists behaving this time were they all very cautious yeah most of them i think greeks are more uh, you know they're more careful i mean we have like two categories of people the people that don't believe uh, you know the virus and the other that believe the virus so for a reason you know vegans and vegetarians they don't believe you know that the, the virus exists so this is our target group <laughs> and most of them wow. yeah most of them they are coming you know at the restaurant and you know they you know they they don't wear the mask and we, so we tell them you know you have to wear the mask and uh, you know blah 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 everything but uh, yeah greeks are more careful than the tourists how are your parents how are they doing how is the uh, a uh, hotel uh, doing did they have a decent business uh, during the lockdown uh, sorry during the reopening phase so yeah my uh, we were like one week it was open the other week uh, was uh, shut down so it wasn't busy so we only had like two to three rooms per day and some days we didn't have any rooms at all so yeah uh, there uh, you know it uh, struck us hard so my mother you know she was coming at the uh, at the hotel the hotel is like next to the uh, restaurant so like most of the time she was sitting at the reception because uh, most of the people we had you know doing this job uh, they were on hold so my mother was doing the work and uh, she was also you know at the restaurant yeah i mean it was uh, it was very, you know very weird times because we owned the hotel like since the uh, early 60s So that was the first time that uh, you know that crisis you know occurred so yeah so the focus uh, became uh, your restaurant the family from the family business to your restaurant because this is doing better business in this time we were feeling a bit lucky although you know we didn't we never expected to you know the restaurant to support the hotel but yeah it happened so the restaurant went pretty well so it, it you know in a way it supported the uh, the loss that we had from the hotel how is how is your social circle your friends when you go out how are they coping how uh, how has the virus situation affected them so for me i am i haven't been i haven't been out like uh, because Uh, we finish uh, work at around uh, 12 o'clock at uh, 12 a.m. so then we had you know to clean the restaurant uh, you know uh, blah 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 so so i didn't have time to go out and see you know how's life uh, but you know people were going out like my friends half of them were going out for drinks and stuff but they didn't go to uh, clubs and most of them you know usually they were going into clubs and uh, you know this kind of party so they didn't go uh, mostly uh, young people uh, you know want to go for clubbing most people in my age uh, you know were going for you know dinners you know just cocktails and stuff like that but some others you know they were you know uh, partying really hard especially in the islands yeah and uh, how is your girlfriend doing is everything okay with her oh yeah she's uh, she's on hold uh, since march from the first lockdown Uh, they didn't have work because they were doing they were uh, wedding planners so they didn't have any uh, wedding during the summer yeah now they were supposed to plan you know uh, weddings for next year uh, but again they don't have you know too much uh, of a work she she you know she's at home all the time so yeah she's a bit de- depressed but she's doing okay <laughs> okay okay So uh, how are you guys planning to spend the next three weeks when the lockdown starts? Yeah, so now like, uh, you know, when they announced that the, the restaurants are closing, my girlfriend was uh, very happy. She was uh, <laughs> like, you know, I, you know, I know that I supposed, uh, you know, not to be happy, but I'm really happy. Now I'll see more of you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so what we're planning to do is, uh, you know, I will develop the, the new menu. Uh, we will sit together like uh, the first lockdown. uh we will do things together you know start uh, again uh, work out together the playstation 5 is coming out on uh, 19th of november so <laughs> uh 
Okay, food. You know, developing a new uh, menu, my interesting topic. A lot of people were curious about your watermelon salmon. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> what, what's the what's the new menu like? How what are you going to uh, do with the new menu? I, do you have any more plans to introduce new dishes like those innovative ones before? What I'm planning to do is to uh, the watermelon thing is going out of the menu because we don't have any watermelon. Because it's not season yet. anymore. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to have like uh, two ramen dishes and one of them is going to be like a truffle uh, mushroom uh, ramen and the other one is going to be like a fish ramen, the uh, fish with, uh, you know, from carrot. So it will have like a, um, like a, very, a very fishy flavor. So those are like two new dishes. Then we're going to have uh, like a chicken waffle, which uh, the chicken is going to be Satan uh, baked in the oven. So it's going, going to be like a healthy version of chicken and waffle. And the waffle is going to be from uh, sweet potato and rosemary. We're going to have like uh, new burgers, new salads, uh, a lot of soups, a lot of pumpkin. So it's going to be like a Christmassy uh, sort of uh, winter menu. Exciting. Yeah, with warm stuff. And yeah, a lot of curry because I love curry. Uh, we're going to have like dal, a red lentil dal. Yeah, Indian uh, food, Indian cuisine is full of inspiration for exactly. vegans and vegetarians. Really exciting. So um, for these uh, for these meat flavors, do you use any substitute? Like, for example, uh, Marmite or Vegemite? We use Marmite. We use okay. uh, seaweed. Uh, we use miso. Uh, we use uh, basically uh, umami flavors that, you know, that give you the, you know, the meaty kind of uh, flavor. All of the menu we have is developed for non-vegans. And uh, most of our clients, like 95% of our clients are non-vegans. That's a brilliant idea to bring non-vegans into the fold. Yeah, exactly. To get them introduced to vegan dishes. Yeah. So like most of the non-vegans are coming like once or twice uh, per week in our restaurant. And uh, they like it. I mean, they like it because uh, they can find, you know, something that is really healthy and it reminds them of, uh, you know, the sort of meaty flavor and, you know, uh, this kind of stuff that they used to eat. So, yeah, that's a um, success for us to have like non-vegans in the, in the restaurant and enjoy our menu. <laughs> How exciting. I can't wait to come to Athens when everything opens up and try food at your place. Thank you. <laughs> One of my colleagues also said the same thing. He is, after listening to the first um, episode that we did, he he was so curious about your watermelon, uh, tuna and uh, salmon carrots. Yeah. So but... you can, yeah, you can expect us to land in Athens someday. a little dicey about how Christmas is going to be? Yeah, for Christmas we're not very sure. Like for now the government said that we're gonna open in three weeks but three weeks it's the 30th of uh, November but I believe that uh, the restaurants will open uh, around the 10th to 15th of December with a lot of restrictions so I'm not planning to do any you know crazy stuff for Christmas because I think, uh, like, most of the time we will be, I don't know, it will be hard. Yeah, I'm a bit worried about Christmas, how it will go. If we open around 10, uh, 10 December, then it will be fine. If we open, like, later than uh, the 10th of, the, of December, it's going to be a bit tough. Yeah, we will see. We will see. I'm not really sure. Yeah. <laughs> Fingers crossed for you, Alkis. Yeah, thank you so much. So, so good luck for the winter and uh, here's hoping the new menu comes together and it also gets received really well by Athenians. Yeah. I hope to talk to you again sometime in January. Stay healthy, stay safe. And, stay healthy uh, and stay uh, positive, and, yeah. And positive, yeah, yeah. Alkis will return one more time for the third season of the podcast. Next week, Fida, who works for a Palestinian NGO in the Gaza Strip, shares how the community managed to deal with the COVID-19 outbreak. Stay tuned. Follow us on your favorite podcast provider and look for us on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube or our website recordofchange.com.
this podcast is implemented with and by members of the Bosch Alumni Network, a community that brings together former and current fellows, grantees, and staff members of the Robert Bosch Stiftung and its partners.